What's up guys? Welcome back to uh, Real Simple Mushrooms. I'm um, doing a check-in on our spore germination plates. Now, if you remember from our video a week ago, it's day number seven now, we did a spore syringe, a spore print, and a spore swab. We did two plates on each. Um, again, this is uh, my potato agar recipe. I'll actually put uh, the recipe in the comments below. Uh, so if you guys are already making agar, you can try it out. It's really easy, it's really cheap, and it works great. Like 99% of everything I put on here spore-wise germinates. Uh, so let's take a look at the syringe here real quick. And as you can see, this is where we got that big glob on there. You got some mycelium starting to grow off of those right there. So that one's germinating nicely. Uh, syringe plate number two. There you go, you got some germination of mycelium there too. Um, you'll notice it's mycelium because it'll be white and you'll see little tiny strands of what looks like hairs um, coming out in a circular pattern. Uh, spore print now, okay, there we go. We got a couple of, uh, couple of germination points there. Other print, this one's a little harder to see, but yeah, there's a lot that have germinated there. And remember, this is where we scraped the spore print off uh, in front of the flow hood and the air just kind of blew it onto the plate, so they're kind of everywhere. But yeah, lots of germination points on there. This is gonna be a good plate, I like that. Uh, and now onto the swab. This one's germinating nicely, lots of great growth there. It's really fast. Uh, and then the whole reason we put this stuff to agar first is because this is not mycelium, that is all bacteria. That is all contaminated. So this is why we use agar. Now if this had been a syringe and I had put this right to grain, the whole bag would have contaminated, it would have been a complete loss. But now we know this is junk. We can throw this in the trash, but five out of six ain't bad and all of them germinated. So yeah, <clears throat> again, you know, now the next steps on this are the plate's gonna grow out a little bit. And as long as there's no contamination on any of these plates, I'm gonna put each plate right in a grain bag and I'm gonna grow that mushroom out. I'm gonna grow that bag out because this plate is gonna have a bunch of genetic diversity. Spores have thousands and thousands and thousands of different phenotypes of that particular, whatever particular strain of mushroom you're trying to germinate. So I'll take this whole plate and I'll throw it into a three pound grain bag and I'll let that colonize and then I'll grow it out and then you can start selecting your phenotypes from there. And that's the best way to really start to isolate certain traits in mushrooms that you want to see. You want big clusters, you want big fruits, you want fast colonization times. Those are the things you look for and that's what we'll get into in, in later parts of the video. But anyway, I want to keep this short and sweet, so thanks for joining me. Take it easy, guys, and look for the next video in probably about another week. We'll do another check-in. See ya.